Hi guys. Well, today I brought Hunter to the doctor and he's not doing real well. They have a lot of tests they have to run on him Monday, but now this afternoon his condition started getting worse. If he keeps throwing up and keeps running fever, they want me to bring him into the emergency room and he'll probably be put in the hospital. And, um, I don't know, he's still sleeping 16 hours a day and he doesn't feel well at all. So, when I got home after a long rough day, y'all see, oh man, I need a facelift. Look <laughs> all the wrinkles under my eyes. Anyway, um, after getting home from a rough day with Hunter at the doctor and him not feeling well, I had a box waiting for me from Miss Teresa. I did open it. I did look at everything, but I wanted to show y'all. She's a good friend of mine I met here on YouTube. And I want to show y'all what she sent me. It's a lot. <laughs> she sent me this beautiful hello sign. And look. Wait, you see it lights up? <laughs> I just love that. It's like, hello. It's me again. Okay, I'm not going to sing for y'all. I don't want to hurt y'all ears. And she sent me some stamps. I'm going to show y'all what she sent me. And I wanted this one, and I didn't buy it. And I'm so glad I didn't because she sent it to me. Look. I love it. I can't wait to stamp it out and dye it out and cut it out and color it. Oh my god. She sent me that one. And she knows I love these art impression women. Look. <laughs> Looks like me, huh? <laughs> or that could be me too. Or I could, well, no, she's not fat enough. <laughs> and then she sent me some of these Disney dies. And this one is Anna. And then there's the little stamp where you can stamp the face into her. And then this is her on the back. And she sent me Enchanted Belle. And then you can see. And then she sent me Waltz, Waltzing Bell. And then you can see, look how pretty she is. And then she sent me Cinderella Embellishments. Look at the shoe. Okay, and then she sent me this die set, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, from our house to yours, and the snowman with the letter, and the house, and the presents, and the little car, Oops, am I showing it to you? <laughs> Look at the little car with the tree on it. <laughs> okay, and then she sent me the Bobot Bunny stamp. And then she sent me this beautiful magazine with the stamp sets in it. And they have the little boy in the window waiting for Santa. Here he is right here. And the Christmas tree in the fireplace with the stockings. And here's Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus. I hope y'all can see this. Okay. And we got a bunch of stamps in here. This is some um, sayings by Tim Holtz. And this one is, um, hmm. I don't know how to say the name of it, but 
Inventa Logic with some birds in the bird cage. And this one by Art Studio, I believe, is it? I think that's it. And some Tim Hope's sayings. And Polly Clear Hero Arts Christmas sayings. And y'all know I love trees and animals and I have this fascination with trees and look it's got all the leaves and stuff. That is so pretty. And then look at this one. Look at the polar bear <laughs> and the elephant. And then we have this one. And then this one. And then this one. It's the layering stamps. Did I show y'all this one? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then we have another packet right here. And I didn't ever find these at the Dollar Tree, but she found them. And she sent me these. And there's a, two more that go with it. Yeah. The ice creams and donuts and cupcakes. And these. And she sent me this one with the snow globe and the little snowman and the snowflakes and the snow and tree. And the dies for this one and this. It's Mama Elephant. And then these are so cute. I have some, but I don't have these. What the doggies? Woof, woof. Hello, friend. I roof you. I roof you. <laughs> And then this one, thinking of you, what's up? And this is the cat. And then it has an embossing folder with it. And then she also sent me this. But I'm not going to open it. I'm going to put it under my tree for Christmas. And I'm going to open it for Christmas and then I'll show you all what it is. And I want to show y'all this. Y'all see my table back there? I've got all my crafting stuff on it. I need to move it because, uh, yeah, it don't belong on the table. But look at this beautiful card she made me. She makes the prettiest cards. Isn't that beautiful? And it says, Merry Christmas. And then it's a easel card. Isn't that pretty, guys? So that's what I wanted to show y'all. And yep, y'all know what time it is. Wrap your arms around yourself. Squeeze real tight. I'm giving you a hug. A big hug. And if no one's told you today, I'm going to tell you. I love you. You are beautiful. You are special, and God loves you too. And guys, why have y'all on here? Um, all of you believers and Christians out there, and my and God's prayer warriors, I want to ask y'all to keep, of course, Hunter in y'all prayers, and my stepdad in y'all prayers. But also, there's a little boy who a good friend of mine, Linda Crespo, knows his mother and she's a police officer in North Carolina and her little boy is four years old and they just found out he has inoperable brain um, tumor or cancer and um, he, he got to where he couldn't hardly walk now he can't walk or talk at all 
and it's resting the tumor is resting on his um, brain stem so they cannot remove it but God anyone who's a Christian knows the Bible says ask anything in my name and believe and that's the key word and believe you shall receive it the Bible also says where two or three are gathered in my name I am right there amongst them Jesus Jesus hears all of our prayers and I believe he still creates miracles today so if God's prayer warriors would join me right now in prayer we're gonna pray for this little boy and his mother and his father and we're gonna come together as one and we're gonna ask for his divine healing Heavenly Father we come to you today right now Lord I pray that you would wrap your loving arms around this four-year-old little boy Lord that you would touch him touch the back of his head and his neck Lord right where that tumor is resting on his brain stem Lord with your mighty touch we claim your healing right now Lord we ask you to cleanse him heal him so he can be a testimony Lord that miracles still happen today. Lord, I pray that for his mother and father, that their faith and that be strong enough to unite them. Lord, that they can lay hands on that baby and they can declare his healing in Jesus' name, his healing, and they can receive it in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you would touch that baby enfold him in your love God let your amazing grace touch the top of his head to the bottom of his toes Lord let your healing power heal him right now Jesus in Jesus' holy name we're going to claim this healing Lord we know you can still perform miracles today and Lord we'll wait for the good testimony from this family to let us know and give the glory and the thanks to you Lord Lord I pray as we're trying to find out what's going on with Hunter Lord that you can just lay your hands on Hunter Lord and whatever's going on in his body Lord I pray that you could just take it out heal him Lord God touch him from the top of his head to the bottom of his toes let him feel your healing grace in his body Lord I'm gonna claim this as his mother I'm gonna receive this healing right now in Jesus name as his mother and I want to give you all the praise and the glory for all that you're gonna do for these two children your children Lord in Jesus name Amen well thank you guys and um, I'll be seeing y'all later. Please keep Hunter and this little boy in your prayers. Keep claiming the healing that we know our Lord and Savior can do because he still performs miracles today. So, yeah, guys, I love you. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back on as soon as I can. And thank you, Miss Teresa, for your loving gifts that you sent me. I love everything that you sent me. And I appreciate everything that you, you think of me and you send me this stuff. And, um, yep, that's it, guys. Bye.